Noblestead, the town where every day is yesterday. Yes, some may say that theirs is a community stuck in the past. But one man's dark ages is another man's time-honored tradition. And what are traditions, if not things we're still doing? Oh, it really makes you think. Yes, and hello, welcome back to Two Point Campus to, well, the night school on guard. Welcome to Noblestead, where not much has changed in several hundred years and knights roam the streets like it's perfectly normal. They say steel sharpens steel and the locals couldn't agree more. Being a knight is more than polite, conversation, dangerous antics and metal shoes. It's about competitive spirit, let the best knights win. So, a night school, we are starting out with this one and... Here we are on a beautiful big campus and we're going to do this a bit differently. So we are going to go with three, three stars now. So the tutorial missions kind of like I wanted to rush through. But now we're starting with the real missions. And yeah, we do have quite a lot of space on this one. Plus a beautiful castle. And Lord Blaggard is introducing himself. Salutations and welcome to Noblestead. The last great bastion of knighthood in Two Point County. And I'm Lord Blaggard. I run the night school across town. This is how it has always been. I followed in the footsteps of my father and my father's father and his father's uncle, Dennis. And we've been waiting hundreds of years for a little friendly competition. Let the games begin. So that it is. We do need a battleground, a theater as always, and the night school teacher. Uh, battleground? Is that in indoors or is it outdoors? Let's just check it out. And I think... This one actually needs to be outside, right? So a jousting, a jousting place then for my students. We are starting out with this campus there. We do have the space for expansion. Uh, a few we can't expand into the castle, right? So this is out of bounds. That is just for fun, I guess. And then we also have these NP plots with some tennis courts. I mean, we are a night school. Who needs tennis courts? We are going to get rid of that again. Let's start out with the basic stuff, right? So we're still having students. So we still need, of course, the normal the normal things that you might expect from that. Um, and of course, what every university is consisting of is, well, the bathroom. <laughs> start with the bathroom. So there we have it, a very basic one that we can start out with right away. Let's also add some plants to this. Um, and what I noticed is that heating should probably not be a problem with this university. And it is exciting to start out a new university really because holy cow, this is going to be big, right? Three stars really needs a lot and it's so empty right now. It's so quiet, also peaceful. Um, so there we have the, the bathroom. Why do I do that first? Because I place it in the central. We have two entrances left and right. And in the front of it, we can then have some welcoming area for students we do need a lecture theater so this is uh, the normal stuff right we're going to need quite a few of them um, from what I can gather so we are going to add some additional room here um, and probably some room here right and then we can expand probably two more uh, theaters into this area and then we just have the normal entrance yeah it's so big it's not not really something you can have like that so let's move that one over there again further and then we move this one into this area. That's fine, right? So we do have the entrance then here somewhere. And then we can still have ornaments left and right. This is pretty important as we want to get our uh, campus rating up quite far this time. And I'm going to need um, a few things. We don't go with the LS circuit board though, right? We are a night school now, so I should uh, focus on nightly stuff. Like family tree posters. I think this is much better. So let's go with the family tree posters. I don't know why we need to remove them quite often. There's something in the way, it seems. So that's that. Uh, definitely bins, right? We did have quite a few, a bit too much trash lying around last time. And no heating is required. And we are very close to level 3. So let's just also add a, a nice TV then somewhere. If I can actually do this, it's there very good right that would be a very first theater and level two we have with that as well getting some coin in that is pretty important looking good actually that's a nice cozy uh area now let's go for the the next one that is the battlegrounds so the battlegrounds hone social skills and combat techniques by practicing nightly and used in the night school belongs outside and we do need to have quite some space for that uh, yeah, there we have the space. So let's go ahead and have our night school then right here. There's an entrance for that. And I think this is a combat area too. <laughs> so this is where the knights can then train. Right, let's have two of them on either side. It's two different things there actually. 
that also something for the archers. Try to shoot at and then also some combat that should here and here perhaps. Training dummy. And then some poles. That is just what? A, a heater. Oh, we don't need a heater there. We can though have some barrels as decoration on either side to push this one to another level there perhaps. Level 7 would be interesting. We have lots of new items here as well that we can add. So some banners and whatnot. There you go. Right for the jousting ground. Oh, come on. We are so close to level 7. Hmm. There you go. Some additional barrels there. It is the battlegrounds for our knights that are going to start out them. We, by the way, also have lots of uh, possibilities for pathways and whatnot right here. So we could have, for example, some trees going towards that entrance here where people can then go right. This feels then a bit more majestic, I guess. When you slop food onto a tray, you turn your food into slop. Remember, we eat with our eyes. Though I'm sure some of you will take that as an instruction to start shut. So there you go, some additional path that leads them to the main path and goes right to this area up there. Perfect, so that's that. This is where they can start. We now need to manage the courses. So we're starting with the night school level one, right? So we don't really need that much for it. We do have the coin. Let's start the student year. Announcement. And now we do still need a night school teacher. Before the first students arrive, like Penelope, over Sheen, she's called Penelope. And she has excellent personal hygiene. How very nice is that? Every campus that is noble and good should provide medical care. We may wear armor, but that doesn't mean we're invincible. There she is. She's actually not looking so nightly. And students will injure themselves while injuring themselves while they're on the campus. They don't know what they're doing. Build a medical office. All right, a new room that we haven't built before. It's being unlocked, so more and more stuff here is being unlocked as we progress. A medical, this is also inside. So let's just have this one behind our, our bathroom. And I don't know how many injured people we're going to have, right? So we might need several of these Omni Cures then. Let's get the first one over there. And then we also need a medical desk for the personnel. We don't need any heating, that's fine but definitely a bin of some sorts and perhaps also yeah some cupboards filling cabinets that we can have there one here and probably two more here that pushes us to the next level it's a bit expensive but we should be fine and this one needs an assistant there as well for medical skills right so ursula flush can do the job she drops the litter that is not very kind. We also will need a janitor as always, someone that is speedy perhaps, bo boosts the movement speed. That sounds good. Or actually, let's also get go with someone that can repair stuff. And it warms my girdle to see Noblestad in glorious battle once more. Let the best knights win. And there's the first students coming in. Yep. They're not looking very knightly yet. They look like squires. So that's them for now and they will of course start their classes then we can also now see the first classes starting up right so we got four classes um and we basically need to continue now on our journey there so yeah a thousand profit not a lot there wasn't anything happening right now we have 140,000 left so i might actually purchase something for the students to live in so this one here plot two let's build it or let's purchase it empty 25,000. we can afford that Let's go ahead and do this and continue also with some more stuff that the knights need. So like a library, for example. And this is something that we probably can then have right here together with... Wait a second. Let's not let's not do this here. Let's have the library over there because we also need some tuition rooms then where they can learn again, right? So let's have the library then here. But if I did... How would you learn? There's the entrance. We could also unlock a new special bookcase here. So the night school costs me 100 kudosh points. We have that. Let's go ahead and do this. And we still do need... That is a bit strange. We still do need the, the standard one. The standard bookcase there as well. Right? 
without it, I cannot do anything here. And then we still need the study cubicles then as well, textbook cubicle. And I think this is what the knights will need as well and the study cubicle. So let's go ahead with two of them. And your campus has been quite the triumph, but how will you fare against the Blackguardus Knights of Noblestad? We'll find out soon. And remove the invaders, so we also get invasions now. <laughs> your campus may be invaded by evil conspirators. A janitor's qualified insecurity will remove unwanted visitors with relative ease and minimal waterworks. Alright, so we also need to fight off some people now. Uh, I don't think we need computers, so textbook and study cubicles should be fine for this one. For the beginning, we're going to add, of course, more stuff than to this one later. And we also need a, an assistant with the library skill for this. And then I need a janitor with security skill, so there it is. Piper can do the job to fight them off. Ah, and there we got them, the knights in red. And they're probably getting beaten by us. With only the most lethal weapons that we have available. I do like my knights so far. He's pulling out the sword if he wants to get an order. That's okay. And as looking out here, there's already some battling, it seems, some training. Alright, while all of that is happening, as we can see, my knights are a bit bored right now. We do need a student area, so I'm also going to start building now a house myself, right? So... Also, the threat is over. Very good. And we can build a building now in this game, right? We don't need to, to purchase buildings, but we can really build them now, which is really cool. And I think we are going with a, a nice big student. Let's just see how much this will cost me. 27,000. That's actually not that expensive. And we do have then more room here as well and more room here for other things as well. So there is a big entrance. Perhaps we move this one a bit further over. Right, perhaps still a bit further to have some ornaments left and right. This is the entrance for my student hall and we might also need another exit then here as well for later, right, so that we have a nice pull through there. Very good, so that is my building. Let's go ahead with it. And in here we can also go crazy now with any kind of student activities. So we are, we're definitely going to need a lot of space for that. A bit of profit has come in, a loft bench is needed and also the invasion is over. We do get some 10,000 credits out of that and some kudosh points. Thank you very much. I continue with, uh, let's go ahead with some paths that leave them, lead them over here. Looking good, so they can go and then travel to that side and then we have lots of room here still available for some stuff right and also for some additional buildings then we probably will need more outdoor buildings as well the student hall is finished so we can also go ahead now with the first buildings here so like a dormitory and knights don't need a lot of privacy so let's just go ahead and get us a big one right and we're starting out with uh, first a few beds here now these are comrades have it like that. Very good. And uh, perhaps we need to move this one a bit further over. There you yes. go. And we also, of course, me. some buffer here. <laughs> some plants that we are going to have there as, um, you know, separation and adding, uh, giving them a bit of bit of privacy then we are going to have some study area for these guys that's 16,000 we need to be careful on the money side though so that is our dormitory that we have um, we also will need a student lounge we definitely do need a bathroom and a shower room of course after a hard day of jousting those people will need some hygiene and of uh, the bathroom then as well. So the bathroom we could have right next to the... And the showering right next to my dormitories. So the bathroom, let's make this one a bit central again. Probably over here. So I don't think we are going to need it to make it so big. This is going to be fine. Oh, a, th a staff room we'll also need then. And then we got the sinks. 
and of course the drawing. Okay, and the first tired knights are already on their way now to their beds. So this is going to make them a bit happier, because right now they're not that happy, right? So sleep is what they need. And perhaps also some entertainment then. One thousand four hundred profit. That is not so much yet. Also, the library is being used. Perfect. We probably should also go ahead with a tuition room then right away. So private tuitions. We can have a couple of them here. They don't need to be particularly big, and they're really just for some basic learning there for now. We can add a few of them. And if there's no class happening right now, the teachers will gladly help with tuition. So right now we don't have any classes, so they can spend their time learning in the library and also here in the private tuition room. Very good. We got for the first star, cure five medical issues, attractiveness level 75%, B plus great knights classes and removal of 15 invaders. So this is going to take uh, a bit of time there and we'll just see what challenges await us for getting those knights out there. Profit is going a bit higher now, 6,000, very good. We do need every kind of money that we can get. And also private tuition is now happening too. Perfect. We're getting into December. Unfortunately, we don't have a student union and no parties with that, but parties are expensive, so we can't do that really. For now, student relationship. Lord Blackguard would like to come to the campus for courtly and civilized visit. No swords, no lances, just affable chit chat. All right, let's bring him in. Oh yes, and those people really need some sleep, it seems. In their full armor, of course. And there's Lord Blackguard also up for a visit now. Now, for some entertainment, we should provide that. Happiness also pays off. So that would be the student lounge, and then we have the student union. Um, let's go ahead with the student lounge on the other side, I think. These rooms need to be a bit bigger, right? So student lounge and student or student union because we are going to need some equipment in them, in there, so quite a lot of equipment, really. That we can go ahead. We can go crazy with that, but of course I cannot afford too much right now, so I think a, a good old black and white TV is doing the job over there. Uh, we might also add some... Nah, that's something for later. Some dart, alright. They can play around with a, probably a fridge, then so a little kitchen that we can have in the back there as well. So something like that. 6,000 we are right now. That's okay still. Add the kitchen to that. And then also something where they can sit around the table. Oh, arcade machines. Yep, that we can do. But that's already bringing the money up there quite a bit. The cost for it. There's my tables. So that is the first room that brings in some fun as well. And of course we do need some refreshments and whatnot and we could have the outer area for that. Or yeah, actually let's have the let's have the student union work for the with the with these things here for, for now, right? So some snacks and also some drinks. And the same thing we do of course in the main hall then. Here we're going to make a nice smaller area for food and stuff like that later, but for now some of these machines will be totally fine already providing everything. The other ones would need extra personnel and that we certainly cannot afford for now. So I'm not going to have them yet. This should be fine and of course also something to sit around for those people. Of course they could also join some clubs so the speed walking clubs then might be a good idea here too. Let's have this one somewhere. Probably here. And, indeed needed. and is it advisable to have the power nap? Student. Yeah, let's go for the power nap club there as well. So both of them are being then provided for my students too. We should also provide a staff room as always. Um, let's just make a room that here we have then that's two tiles, another two tiles, another two tiles, another two tiles. Uh, that would be a very small staff room for now. But I cannot afford anything else, right? And I don't want to have it in the student area. So this is my staff room for now. We can add two more tuition rooms then, and that's golden. It's only really for some a bit of a bit of relief, but we can make this one better then, of course. 
in the future. So let's just add, of course, also here a nice TV. We're sorry for the letter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. Campus level 5, perfect. Leveling up there a bit. Tea table. Ah, uh, profit is going a bit slower now. We'll add some machines there for those hungry, that hungry stuff. And do we have also these tables with seats right next to them? Unfortunately, we don't. So we do need something else, some normal chairs. Something to relax. But I really cannot afford more right now. It's crazy. We are very low on money. Uh, love benches, courtly love, de develop one new romance. Let's accept this one and the speed walking sign. Two people would like that, let's have it for later. The more successful the campus becomes, the harder our rivals will work to sabotage our plans. Hire and train janitors with the security qualification. Alright, and also another challenge completed. That was the invaders once again being fought off. Some class is happening. There it is. Or there it was. It's over. At least they can also drink something now. Perfect. We, by the way, we would need some bins here as well. They don't have that. I was faced with the formidable task of critiquing the inventively named Chewy Gum. Yes, I am tasked with assessing the various minutes and shortcomings. So, our uh, uh, end of the year party might be probably fine in the beginning of June, right? So that the last classes will be with a nice buff. Let's have a student lounge party. It doesn't cost that much, right? 4,000. We can't afford that. And let's just add it in the beginning of June where there's no class happening. So we should always check that this is, you know, that we, it's not overlapping with my classes that we have. So beginning of June is a nice one um, for the last class then to get this bonus of 20 happiness and 10% movement speed. Also, it makes those people, of course, happier. So 4,000 for that. Do we have female knights, by the way? <laughs> I mean, we're in modern days. It doesn't look like it. it will be hard to get some romantic relations going. All right, some of those students having a bad day or having a bad time or a hard time getting their learning done. So I think we do need more private tuition then. Um, that means a second teacher that I'm going to assign here now and also a second private tuition room, right? So that's only 6,000 we can afford. Let's add this one. How many, how many coins do we, by the way, have if I want to manage my courses? 40, so we can upgrade at least once. Probably better to have two upgrades than ready Morning. we'll just see let's Will let's get the last one out there too so this is full right and yeah two teachers we have probably need a third one already though definitely for the next year anyway so let's add a third teacher also for nightly stuff and those people get their education this one we'll need to make bigger soon right so we do need several of these these ones here and we actually made a loss now with the Getting those people in, right? Those additional teachers. That's not something that's so nice. One janitor at least is fine for getting rid of all the trash. And there, the first year is over. We do make a bit of profit out of that. And let's just see how many passed, actually. And all 10 passed, right? And can continue on to the second year. And we also will uh, get new one-year students now as well. There's no greater challenge for a knight than... The jousting fields. I should know. I was jousting champion myself many, many Thursdays ago. Perhaps it's time that I go back on the horse. I do love foreshadowing. Huzzah. So we do need the jousting field for year two students now. That's going to be a bit more space that we need to spend then. And also this one here definitely needs to be bigger. But we'll just see how we can actually squeeze in all that money. Let's upgrade to level two then as well. Our night school. So that means more students are possible. We only have 36,000 credits. That's not a lot. Just check out the Chousting Grants. It's 28,000 credits already. Really? We don't have that. Let's see. It needs to be this big at least. That's 5,000. Then, of course, we do need a proper entrance. Let's have the entrance here for now. And then we do need... That one here. Oh, my goodness. And also some tents. Okay, we don't have that. Let's move all of this a bit further over. Like so. 8,000 for the tent crazy 28,000 anything else no okay that's 28,000 that's as much as high as we can go right I can't spend any more on that campus level 6 at least 
Um, I can though, however, move that tent here so that it looks proper. So this is for our year two students. Do we have another texture available, something for the ground? This is looking a bit strange there. I think this one would be the right one. Does it cost me anything? This is looking much better for just the ground. Whatever we have, just not the normal grass, please. And 13,000, I think we can afford to enlarge in this one. I do need to get rid of these trees there, though. And then we just take this room and edit it, make it a bit bigger. Going all the way over there, right? Didn't even cost us that much to enlarge in this one. Um, let's have the normal grass then here. It's actually a different grass. That's the right one. Um, and then I could have this one here being copied because uh, we cannot afford this for now, but I will add more than because it, there was already a queue uh, for this one. Let's start the year. More students are coming in now. So it's getting a bit busier. We will should also provide some parking benches out there now or outside where people can sit around a bit. because some of them want to sit around as well. And there's the new students coming. Oh, there's also a medical case already. What do you have? Precious flu caused by low healthiness. Sounds bad. Park bench is, need, uh, is wanted. I already placed it. Oh, okay. We need to place it again. There you go. And there was also the meat wizard report for 5,000 credits as well. I'll take it. We really do need more money now, so hopefully with more students, the money is rolling. There's some two invaders, but we have the personnel for that. And yeah, the three teachers are going to do an amazing job, hopefully. Lots of classes, as we can see. So the year is packed with the normal training for the first years and then the second year tousting that we're going to see here as well. So far, so good. On to year two. Stay tuned. <laughs>